And we are following breaking news tonight at 5 o'clock. Indiana is not moving on to stage 5 of reopening this weekend as previously planned. Scott joins me from the other side of the studio tonight to explain exactly what this means for all of us moving forward. Scott. Yeah, Jenny, this isn't really going to change much for us. The governor said today instead of moving into stage 5, we're moving into what he's calling stage 4.5. The governor's putting this temporary pause on increasing capacity in restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. Most right now are operating at 50%. Restaurants operating at 75% right now. Now, these outdoor activities like fireworks shows this weekend, fairs and festivals, those can all move forward. The governor explained today why he made that decision during his weekly press conference. This gives all of us a little more additional time uh, to manage our way through this. I said at the very outset, probably the first week, that I wanted Indiana to be um, through this the safest and swiftest and surest way possible. And um, to date, that's how we've conducted our affairs. Now, the governor also pointed out today, Indiana really hasn't seen the same surge reported in other states across the country, but the increase that we have seen is a cause for concern, and so that's why they placed this temporary restriction on some indoor activities. I want you to take a look. This is a chart here that takes us back to the middle of April. Now, the percentage of positive cases peaked back then during testing in Cass County, and you can also see the lowest point was just a couple of weeks ago, June 19th. However, the percentage started to go back up on Sunday. That's what Indiana wants to see. That's not what Indiana wants to see. Now, we also should note the state of Indiana is now going to provide data on COVID-19 cases at nursing homes. This is after refusing to release that kind of info for months, despite requests from our 13 Investigates team.